today time. We're still joined with Kim, Marion, and Jay from the Brampton Art Tour that's going on. We're, we're learning about all the fine specs of art and exactly what it is and actually talking to these artists individually and, you know, hearing the story behind of what yeah. makes good art, right? Yeah. There's always a story behind everything that is created, right? Yeah. And, you know, dur just during the break, we were actually talking about how art, how important it is and how much it may change someone as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's expand on that a little bit further. So art does pretty much open people to different things, right? Yes, and I think at one point in, in life, I mean, certainly historically, art has always been an important way to express oneself. Right. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Back thousands of years, people, cave drawings, the original artwork, yeah. uh, and, and we can see that through time. But uh, I was telling you that when my parents came from Europe, and uh, they came across on a, on a very large ship, an old, uh, probably a freighter that was, uh, you know, revamped into a passenger ship <laughs> in the 50s. And uh, they had a trunk, and this trunk had all their worldly possessions. So they had important things like a sewing machine and, and uh, some fabric and things that they could use. What was also in this trunk was a few art pieces that had been handed down through generations. That's how important it was oh, to sure. them mm -hmm. to have these possessions with them. And it carries down to history almost, yes. you know, then you yes, have your, right. this exactly. person painted this this many years ago and passes it down in your family or yeah. whatever lineage it happens Icons to be. Exactly. and legacies, yeah. you know, yeah. of now, your um, family. I got to ask now, so especially for those who are probably anticipating to uh, be, uh, go and visit this tour. Now, individually, how can, what can people expect? from your studios. So we'll start with you, Kim. What can people expect when they walk in and take well, a look at your stuff? I, for the first time, I'm also exhibiting with my son, awesome. who's oh. 16, and he uh, does a lot of digital photography. So he's got some really cool, funky photographs that he's going to display. I do garden cement pieces with words uh, engraved in them. And then my main artwork is my encaustic uh, oil paint, which, you have right here. which yeah. I have here. So They're I love gorgeous. to do a lot of, thank you, a lot of collaging, a lot of photo transfers. And I really pull on uh, links to nature and Canadian heritage. So like Miriam was saying, you know, really a celebration of my own family, my own roots. And it's such an honor to me when somebody connects with a piece and their own stories start pouring out. You know, this country is so rich and so diverse and we've all come from somewhere else. And when people stand around and chat with me about a memory or something that's been mm -hmm. triggered as a result of something they see on my walls, it, it doesn't get any better than that. It's a reflection of yourself and then you're noticing other people reflecting. But like Jay was it. saying, uh, the art is bigger than us. Right. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. I think we're just a vessel and for whatever reason we have to do this. Yeah. And it's our way of communicating and telling our stories. But it takes on a life of its own. And, 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 and when it comes down to it, it, art is a form of talent as well. So you three definitely have the talent, so why not? Use, Use that it, talent, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So what can people expect from your exhibit as well? Well, my studio is situated in the historic village of Churchville, which okay. is in Brampton. And it's the, uh, the only historic district in that's 200 years old in the entire GTA. It's quite an interesting and, and uh, interesting. lovely place to visit. So it's a pioneer kind of a village right. uh, near Mavis and Steele, so not very far from there, just minutes. My studio also has perennial gardens around it where there's art displayed throughout the gardens in the back and the front. People are welcome to uh, walk through the gardens. Uh, my husband Rick is a wood turner. He's also displaying his work. That's awesome. And he does amazing work. And this work. is some of your work and right here. And yeah. this is a vase. I also, I Which do a really lot nice. of sculpture, but I also do um, urns and jars and uh, vases and things like that. This is a porcelain piece that's been sculptured on the surface and uh, thrown on the pottery wheel, which I have as well, and then kilned twice. So uh, it's uh, it's one of my uh, many, many pieces. One of your pieces. Very yes. nice. Very Thank nice you. Piece. And Jay, what can people expect from uh, your studio as well? Well, uh, this is my first time. Awesome. So you're a newbie. This is yes. your inauguration. Yes. Yes. Exciting. <laughs> well, since I came in this country for first one or two years or three years, mm -hmm. were very depressing, looking for a job, trying to settle. And slowly now, I, I feel that the talent I have, I have to show people. I have to uh, tell people that this is what I do. This is what where I make my living from. And in my studio this time, I'll be 
uh, live portraits and I do a kind of calligraphy and other stuff nice. as you see you in this painting. Really nice pieces painting here as well. And so these, are those up for the these are these are the photographs of of the painting, of like the painting. Uh, this is this is a huge life size portrait right. of uh, last uh, emperor of uh, Punjab. That's the last. And uh, this kind of work uh, you guys will see there, and uh, this kind of portraits. This is this is a family lives in Brampton. Oh, so okay. So, you so I personal. paint it's this. Uh, yeah. So this really is well all done. paint, and people are going to see a lot of uh, if you want to turn it more this way mm -hmm. to get a nice look at that. That's actually there, right. Yeah. Great work there, Jay. That's that gorgeous. kind of portraits and uh, acrylic, watercolors, uh, landscape, this kind of stuff people are going to uh, enjoy there. Right. And yeah. everyone can buy everything here as well. It's not just oh, yes. for show. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> they see something they like, they can actually no, take no. it away. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> We're just showing you, right? Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. just a teaser. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Perfect. quickly, like, we got to talk about, like, I'm, uh, like, we already touched base how, uh, you know, it's a reflection of who you are. I can connect to people and all that. But, I mean, art must be fun. Right? That's oh, right. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. It's something we're all passionate about, and we hope that people will translate that yeah. into something that they want. Do you ever find um, you create a piece and you get so connected to it personally that you don't want to give it away? Does that ever happen? Because I feel oh, like if yeah. I was so proud of something, <laughs> yeah. I would never want to give it to anyone. Yeah, I you know? yeah. have a whole room I'm always glad when they go to good homes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's yeah. like yeah. letting yeah. your children go. Yeah. It's true. It's mm -hmm. true. Because you, you must form a connection. You ha right. you, it's part of you. Every piece that you do, you you connect. You put your put yourself into it, and you spend time. And it's part of that relationship that creates the beautiful piece that you create, or hopefully beautiful that you right. create, yeah. but mm -hmm. uh, and this it is, is personal, yes. This is Jay's first time in, how long have you been a part of the Since tour? the beginning. Since the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and Kim, you've been this is my third, third year, year, right? Wow. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. So like, lots to look forward to, lots for yes. everybody to look forward to. You know, go out and uh, visit all these artists, great work. You've seen a little uh, sneak peek of what they have to offer on our show today, uh, as well as great artists, great people. So I'm sure you have much, much more to show. Uh, right? Thanks for joining yes. us. Yes. Thank, Thank you so, you so much for the opportunity. No problem. So for more Very information, nice. studiosofbrampton.com. Trust me, guys, you don't want to miss it. It's a great time to bring out the family and see what our very own citizens have to offer. So lots more to come after the break, guys. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss it.